What up, Nick from Fisherman Source? Got another rigging video here. It's really, it's not really a rigging video. It's more, it's just a, a tactic video. Something we're going to share for kind of a specific fishery. These are baits. Maybe not, maybe not the paddle tails, but the the long, skinny, large, soft plastics are something that is a surf tactic in New England. You know, it's 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 heavily heavily. Uh, utilized tactic in New Jersey not so much um, the weights on the bottom on the keel of the hook so it's going to have it falling slower and falling flat I find that when the bite is slow from from the surf or from the land better said and I'm in shallow water even sometimes when I'm not I believe this is probably a, th a half or a three quarter ounce weight a big beat but when I fish this hook on a, on a straight tail mega shad like this is, uh, it, it's, it's, it sinks pretty good. So I can even fish it in deeper moving water when, when the tide slows down or on weak tides and cast it up tide and let it sink and then fish it back to me. It's, it's sometimes it catches fish when nothing else is catching fish. Um, so just something we want to share with you. I'm just going to go through it real quick. Not that, not that this is what this is about, but these are, these are gravity GT eels. These are all mega sheds right here. These are the smaller gravities. We have these in the store. We have some mega sheds too. I'm not sure how available they're going to be moving forward. This is your standard sluggo. This is a seven inch sluggo. And these are gambler, <clears throat> gambler, easy swimmers, paddle tails, just six, six and a half inch. These two are six and a half. And then this is an eight inch. But basically in the Bay Shore, a lot of times I'll fish these like this. They cast well, they sink slow. They have tremendous action because of the joint, because of that paddle. And again, I kind of throw these when they're not hitting plugs. Um, rigging them is extremely simple for what the screw lock hooks, which is kind of what I use. These are, this is an owner beast. They come from like 4.0 to 12.0 and from weightless to three quarter ounce keel weights. This is the Gamagatsu's. I use these for the skinnier, skinnier baits, like sluggos. I'll, I'll get to why. And then for, for these bigger eight inch gamblers, you want something with a bigger gap. Uh, the weight is just gonna be dependent on where you're fishing. But like I said, these come, I wanna say weightless to I think three quarter ounce. Um, to rig these is extremely simple. Um, you take this hook, it has a little center pin there. Put it into the center of the bait. And I, I like to kind of push against the, 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 the corkscrew part of the metal as I'm doing it to keep it centered. So I'm pushing from here until I get it flush up. It's good enough. Kind of measure where it's going to come out. Come through the middle. You always want to make sure when you're rigging these that you're in the middle. And now you're good to go. If it's weedy, you know, the, the freshwater world will kind of push this back and skin hook it. And there are times when, when I do do that, but most of the time I just fish it like that. Like I said before, these, these smaller or narrower gap hooks work better for these super skinny baits same thing this doesn't have the center pin but so it's a little harder i don't know if you'll be able to see it but come in the, the center of the bait push up and start your first turn and it should stay kind of centered and you're just pushing against it and pushing from here the reason for that again is just to keep it centered if you keep it centered it won't tear as much when you start catching fish right about there kind of see where it comes out sluggos are cool as a little trick kind of see which letter it is right by this tm go in the center of the bottom here I'm not right at that TM. Just want to make sure that it's flat when you rig it, that it's laying 
it's perfectly straight. You don't want any twisting going on, or it's not going to swim. And not that I was really going for talking about exactly how we fish these, but there's a different, a bunch of different ways. Some guys fish them faster and continuous. This stupid motion is supposed to be the rod, to the rod, my hand working the rod, and I kind of. It depends, but I don't twitch them as much as I just kind of lift them. Almost like a freshwater with a Senko. Just lift it, lift it, and let it fall the way it's going to fall. I'm just taking a very slow turn or two just so I could feel a bite. And then, you you know, I crush them because you just feel a little tick. You, they, don't, they don't annihilate it unless you're moving it fast and they're real aggressive. But I've had them literally pick it up off the bottom like a largemouth bass with a plastic worm. This is the BKK 10-0 weightless. Again, center. This hook is really sharp. Hey, these are some of the some of the ones that have the slots in them. I like these, a lot of guys complain about them. You put them on jig heads, they don't last as long. It's true, but they still work fine. Uh, again, kind of see where you're going to come out. Come straight up. There you go. These will sink slow. So if I'm fishing, a lot of times in the spring, I'm fishing three, four feet of water. You could fish this really slow with no weight. Really slow. And sometimes it's important. You just take a page out of the freshwater guy's book. Again, you know, all different sizes and weights, and that's something you got to play with yourself. But the idea of fishing these when everybody's throwing metal lips and darters and plugs around you, the fish get used to it. And sometimes this presentation, I mean, these have a lot of action. They're really soft. You can also just retrieve them real slow. You could literally fish this however you want. And that's kind of the beauty of it. Um, it's just a really, really effective thing. I've caught a lot of fish on all these baits here. Um, As you can see here, some of these are used. Or most of them are. But this is, again, a really underrated bait. It's really large, large profile that you can just slow roll and twitch in really shallow water. And uh, that can be just a huge asset.